Gamuda Engineering have invested in the development of a drone survey program to capitalize on the capability of drones to acquire large volumes of data with extraordinary speed, accuracy and safety. The data collected can be shared on the cloud for multiple BIM and GIS applications and used for regular site progress reporting. MMC Gamuda JV are the turnkey contractor for Malaysia's mega project MRT SSP line which is 52 kilometers in total length. For this presentation we're going to focus on the underground works. Gamuda Engineering are managing the construction of 13 and a half kilometers of twin board tunnels and 17 individual construction sites of various sizes along the tunnel alignment. The sites are situated in dense urban areas of Malaysia's capital city, Kuala Lumpur. Quick, accurate, safe surveying is key to the successful delivery of the project. Here is a 3D model of Kuala Lumpur derived using photogrammetry processes from aerial photographs collected by drones over the last two years. This model is used to put each site into context with respect to the surrounding urban areas. To demonstrate the alignment, let's use this 3D city model as a reference. The underground works start from central west in the city's northwest and extend north towards Tidiwangsa, Hospital KL and Kampong Baru. As the alignment approaches the city centre, there are stations at Ampang Park and KLCC East, close to the Petronas Towers. As the line leaves the city, the trains will pass through Conlay Station. As the train line heads south, there is an intersection with line 1 of the MRT at Tunrazak Exchange, and the line then extends to Chan Sao Lin. We will have a closer look at Chan Sao Lin to see how drones are used with BIM and GIS. The last two underground stations are Bandar Malaysia North and Bandar Malaysia South, and from here the SSP line travels south towards Putrajaya. Our team use software applications to plan and control each drone flight. The drones can quickly cover a large area of a site in a controlled manner, collecting hundreds of overlapping photographs in less than an hour. The drones operate at 60 meters to 100 meters above the sites, and they can also operate at lower elevations where we need to get photographs of activities inside the site. Here is an example of the drones flying over two TBMs. These are about to be launched for the two southern tunnel drives. Safety is our priority. All of our pilots and spotters have been trained to use launching pads in a safe, confined area away from site activities. The drones, batteries, iPads and controllers are thoroughly checked before each flight. Here you can see the pilot assembling the drone and checking the propellers. The pilot turns on the drone to make sure it's properly connected to the controller and checks it has acquired the GPS satellites. For every flight operation we assign a drone pilot and at least one drone spotter. At the end of the flight operation the team makes sure the drone returns to the designated area in a safe, controlled manner. The drone pilots are identified by a specific safety vest and they are responsible for the safety and operations at all times. The drone spotters keep a track of the drones and the surrounding airspace during all the flights. They are in constant contact with the pilot and the site safety manager. In order to ensure that the survey photographs are tied correctly and accurately to the local Cassini grid, we use sets of three to four ground control points for each survey. The ground control points, or GCPs, are recorded using GPS coordinates by one of the surveyors and these are needed for the photogrammetry process. A common use of drones is the production of orthomosaic photos. This is the tunnel alignment between Chan Sao Lin and Bandar Malaysia North. The ortho photos are used in GIS and are of a higher quality and more accurate than publicly available data. Here you can see a typical image from Google Maps or Google Earth, and if we overlay our orthomosaic photo, we can see the difference in quality and accuracy. We can very precisely position the TBM underground in relation to the above ground structures. Drones save us a lot of time in creating accurate ortho photos for mapping. The drone surveys are used to generate 3D models of each site. In this series of models, from July 2017 to April 2019, you can see the site progress in 3D for Bandar Malaysia North. 
A traditional time lapse from a fixed camera position looks like this. It provides a good visual record of the daily site activities, but we cannot use this for surveying or for measurement. The drone surveys do allow us to do a lot more than just look at visual information. You can see excavation works, the TBM assembly and launch, and you can see permanent structure construction. The sequence of models taken over this 18 month period is a very useful way of looking at progress over a longer period of time. As they are 3D models and not simply photographs, these site models can be used for measurement and analytics. This is the Chan Sao Lin construction site. This is the context capture model from April this year and we can see the TBMs have arrived in the station box excavation and you can see the construction of the permanent works are underway. The 3D model derived from the photographs surveyed using GCPs can be reviewed and compared to the design BIM information. Here we can see the station box walls have been constructed in accordance with the design. Using the design BIM information we can overlay the structural BIM for the station box with the drawn survey models to review the excavation sequence in relation to the station design. We can monitor and assess the construction progress and we can demonstrate the site condition in comparison to the design layout. The image on the top right is a photogrammetric 3D model and the main image is the design model for the station base lab combined with the excavation sequence. This is very useful to communicate with and share with the design engineers so they can see what's happening on site in relation to their design. We use the models extensively for measuring as it saves us a lot of time. In this example, we completed a drone survey of the piling works and we can measure the length of a section of the constructed second pile wall. The 3D models are also very accurate for measuring volumes. For this example in Chan Sao Lin, we will determine the cut and fill required to create a platform at 28 meters. We first identify the boundary for the area we want to measure. When the boundary is marked in the 3D model, we fix the measurement plane at 28 and a half meters and set the density of points at 0.75 meters. We need to cut 11,300 cubic meters in yellow and fill 9,800 cubic meters in green to form a platform at this site location. Drones enhance our safety procedures. If an area is inaccessible or unsafe, as in this example of a slope collapse, rather than sending staff to investigate, we can use drones to safely conduct a survey. This allows us to plan our work safely and identify the risks before workers enter an area of the site. The drone surveys are readily available to all of the project teams via our online cloud platform. In this example, using a web browser, we can identify all of the available survey data each site model is available online and can be viewed via the internet. The BIM data for each station is available to be viewed with the drone survey data. Our drone surveyors recently demonstrated a fun and innovative way to use the drones for construction. For the first TBM breakthrough, a major milestone for our project, the survey team used drones to safely give everyone a bird's eye view of the tunneling works. The video was streamed directly from the drones to our social media channel and hundreds of people watch the construction activity live online. We are very proud of our drone survey teams. We have a large team of trained pilots and spotters to safely operate drones and conduct flight operations across all of the sites. We have dedicated drone survey teams at Central West. The team at Tidiwangsa are very proud of their drone survey roles. We have a happy survey team at Hospital KL. The large team at Kampong Baru, Ampang Park and KLCC East are proud to show off in front of the KLCC Towers. Here the team from Connolly and Chan Lin are having a fun moment with their drone. The team from the Bandar Malaysia North and South Stations helped compile this presentation. And our tunnel survey team, who believe drones are now a key tool for their work. Gamuda Engineering are committed to using drones to improve site safety, construction productivity and enhance our surveying capabilities. Gamuda, keeping a bird's eye on our future.